All right, welcome to all our penny stock billionaires uh, for the Monday night chart chat. Uh, you know, usually we do the Sundays, but sometimes we do it a couple of times during the week if there is, you know, big things happening in the markets, in the stocks that we are covering. And uh, today is definitely one of those days. Uh, so before we get started, let me just give you the quick disclaimer and then we'll jump right into all the good stuff. So, uh, yeah, nothing here is a recommendation to buy or sell securities. Everything has very high risk stocks. Uh, you could lose all your money. These are all client companies of Wall Street Reporter. Uh, so this should be considered paid content and uh, all that good stuff. So with that said, uh, if you want to make profits like these, 2,000%, 1,500%, 50X, like CBDT, even 17X, 14X, click the uh, subscribe button for the YouTube channel and the, the links in the video description below to join our Telegram, our uh, Twitter, all that, all that other stuff. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, yes. Uh, we're just waiting for some news basically right now from FCO. <clears throat> okay, so in uh, Visby, you know, this is a stock that, um, you know, obviously we've been talking about for quite a while, you know, introduced last year at 17 cents, 90 cent recent high. Uh, you know, for the last week or so, I've been telling you, hey, this is the big movie starting to happen. And of course, we had uh, Sean Black on uh, Friday, and I guess the market was very excited by his thoughts on Visby. He's a pretty sharp investor. Uh, so I think last night, you know, we did the chart chat, and I said, "Hey, this thing looks amazing. It's gonna, it's definitely gonna move." Now, I was not expecting today's massive move, like this type of opening gap. Uh, again, look at this huge, huge volume. I think there's also some other, a lot of people are starting to talk about the stock. I mean, it, it's a, it's a really amazing, you know, Visby, V-S-B-G-F, that's the U.S. symbol. Uh, you know, Visby is actually, it, it's, it's really not that well known. The company's only been around for like a year, basically. So it's very little, very little awareness even you know with everything we've been doing for the last you know year or so not too many people know about the stock it's 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 really it's amazing uh and this could be you know one of these massive winners usually you know the the, the stocks that do really really well they really don't have any following or nobody's really interested in the beginning that's usually a good indicator that something is going to be big so um this be still the case and i guess the secret is getting out the cat is out of the bag um, so the chart now, you know, I don't like big gaps. I'm not a fan of gaps. So I'm not, you know, I'm not a, like a believer. Oh, gaps are always filled up. That's not, <clears throat> it's not completely true, but there is, you know, there's something to it. Right. So, um, with that said, uh, is this going to come back? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, if you kind of look at this one hour chart, you, you can kind of see that, you know, the stock was getting a lot of, a lot of buying towards, it had a really strong recovery towards the end of the day, where it was really ready to go higher. So if the market was kept, was open for another hour, we probably would have closed near the highs. So let's look at the five minute chart. Not a lot of data here, but it gives you kind of an indication. I mean, based on this, it tells you that this thing wants to open higher tomorrow. It's going to keep moving. So it is going parabolic, but uh, I think this is not, this is not a, uh, this is by no means a parabolic top this, because this thing, this thing has, I believe, a lot of room to run. It's probably going to be uh, maybe, you know, based on what I'm seeing right now, I mean, the 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 level of uh, engagement easily three four dollars you know probably in uh, the next couple of months so this is an this should be an easy three x from here um, 
Definitely a lot of momentum. Above a dollar. Let's see what happens tomorrow, basically. <clears throat> this week really is going to be the moment of truth. If the stock holds up and, and closes above a dollar, I think it's going to build, you know, that's going to be the new kind of uh, base. Uh, and it's not going to go, you know, it's not going to go lower. It's just going to go far. By the way, speaking of gaps not being filled, look at this. There was a, you know, I, yeah, this is crazy. This stock, I just, uh, I'm shocked. I just realized this just now. I didn't notice this before. I never paid attention. This thing has actually gapped a couple of times. Um, here's one time back at 14 cents. And that did get filled about a month later. But then it gapped over here at 24 cents. And that never got filled. Uh, so, you know, there you go. And, I, and again, this gap be filled so that's that's that just tells you so this gap over here uh it may, it may not be filled so so those people who are saying oh i'm gonna wait to buy you may or may not you may or may not be able to get get this cheaper it's uh it's a good it's a question it's a very questionable uh whether it's going to come down or not but uh, yeah, the volume was massive, massive, massive volume. Yeah, I, ho I hope fans doesn't get bought out. I'd love to see it go to you know twenty bucks. Uh, by the way, this thing where I'm saying it might be bought that that's speculation, wild. There's no official. This is just I'm saying. Hey, I'm just throwing that out there based on like you know we saw. Score was bought and a couple of other deals. So I said, hey, could fans be an acquisition candidate? It can be. It really can be. So, you know, why not? Uh, but uh, there's nothing I'm aware of and actually in the process of probably looking at some deals because they raised that money. Okay, so bottom line is Visby is actually still looking very strong tomorrow. So I think tomorrow we're going to see another very solid day in VSBY, VSBGF. Um, okay, let's go to, um, this one has been a little bit quiet for the last few days, uh, Relic, another stock which I think is gonna be 250, three bucks next couple of months. Um, so I think I told you yesterday uh, that, um, I wasn't crazy about this uh, breakdown that you saw on Friday. It broke out of that pennant. Uh, let me just draw, let me just kind of draw for you this pennant. Actually, you know what? It's going to take too much time. But so it dropped, and, and it was really supposed to break out. That's sort of, in theory, that's what that's what you want to see it happen because that's a continuation of the trend. Um, now uh, today was kind of a, a shakeout in the stock. Um, now, I do not think this is, is the top. This is by no means the top. I do think we might, you know, I did say on Twitter and on our thing on the, um, even I think yeah, uh, yesterday I may have said it, this thing, is, 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 it, it could consolidate for a week or so in this, it could be in this like 90 cents to a dollar range or a dollar. To, we got to see what happens tomorrow. We got to see what happens tomorrow with this thing. Uh, let me look at the one hour. So yeah, so this thing just tumbled right out of, out of, from the open in the morning, right? And then you had a nice comeback rally. Um, you know, so it was actually a pretty decent day. It wasn't like a uh, just people. It, wa it wasn't. Um, but you do need to get this thing. So I would say. This 90 cents is a support. You want to watch this level. I don't think it's going to go below that. It'll probably test it. And uh, then we could resume the uptrend. So that is my thought on Relic. Okay. Let's go to today's big action stock. And then we got more. So we had a few more actually here. Uh, okay. Fans. Fans, the one you've all been waiting for. Uh, amazing day in fans. Uh, actually, let me catch up with a few questions. 
Uh, I think Relic is probably going to be maybe a week. That could be five days, ten days. It needs it needs to take a little bit of a break, uh, catch its breath, and then it could uh, you know continue moving higher. Okay, so let's go to uh, back to fans. Okay, so you know it's it's pretty interesting what happened today. So yesterday, on the uh, chart chat, I said, "Hey, this thing looks amazing. Fans is going to explode. Massive double bottom. This base is going to go to like four dollars." But I did say it because again, with fans, anybody who follows the stock knows it always does weird things. This stock always just it doesn't trade like a normal. It always kind of goes in the opposite direction for like a day or two to shake people out. <clears throat> and that is exactly what happened today in the morning. It's really amazing. Look at this. Um, let me just show you this 15 minute chart. Can we do that? Okay, so no, no, let me do the five minute. Uh, uh, okay, so it's amazing. So in the morning, in the morning, it just it gapped it down. It just tumbled right out of the gate. I mean, it was like, <clears throat> you know, I was kind of laughing. I was like, "Wow, this is this is fans doing the fans thing." I thought of actually putting out a Twitter thing or, or a thing on tele. I didn't even know this that this is what this stock does. But it's amazing. Look at this. It 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 it, it tested that moving average, right? And then it bounced off. And I think what's happening. I think what is happening is, I bet it, it, somebody. I, th I bet some uh, somebody big is accumulating a position in this stock, and they probably <clears throat> wanted to just shake out this, sh just shake out to see who they could shake out of it this morning. Uh, see if maybe they could run some stops or you know just shake out some uh, weak hands. And when that didn't happen. Because look, in the past, you know, this thing it would get shaken out. It, these penny stocks are generally easy to shake out. So when that shakeout did not happen, the thing they 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 covered and and bought in. That's my theory. Again, I don't know. <clears throat> and again, look at this beautiful uptrend today, all day. This is the five minute chart I'm looking at. And let me go to the one hour. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, and look at this volume. This is serious volume today. Massive, massive volume. So something is happening. Something is up, right? Big volume last two days. Um, and again, this is a perfect chart. I mean, this thing looks like. I mean, this is like I don't want to. I don't want to say, hey, this is like a you know minimal risk, but at this point, it's very, very de-risked. It's like with this type of double bottom thing happening, uh, your downside is like, I mean, it's minimal. It's like I wouldn't even say there's a downside. This is like this is like a perfect buy signal almost. It really doesn't get better. Of course, with that said, you could lose all your money. I mean, the stock could open tomorrow. You know, hey, I don't know. Maybe <clears throat> they could, you know, announce uh, that they're filing for bankruptcy tomorrow morning. You never know with these things, right? So again. All these stocks are very high risk, but uh, this chart looks amazing. I think we're going to see <clears throat> a very, very quick run, probably to four bucks. I mean, I think I think because of this base that we have now, we're probably going to hit like three fifty, and then maybe four dollars uh, shortly thereafter. And I think it could happen next few months. What's happening is this. By the way, it's interesting. I, I was saying this yesterday, and I, this is not like I don't have any information. I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not a sports follower. I don't bet on sports. But my theory was that okay, <clears throat> there's going to be a massive amount of money. The sports betting thing this year, this with a football season and everything, it's going to be huge, uh, and you're going to see all the ads on TV and everything else. And it's interesting. I saw. It and what that's going to do is it's going to drive attention to the sports betting stocks. In other words, think of it this way. What you have right now, you get the best stock promotion in the world going on for the next, uh, 
actually how did I, you know i'm not sure how the football season i did it i should know this right did the football season nfl did, i think it goes till what january or something <clears throat> so you got the next four five, in the next like five months you're gonna have massive free stock promotion for the sports betting sector which includes fans right because every time you watch the nfl anytime you watch football any sports you're gonna see commercials for you know draft kings this guy yeah you know, everybody's gonna be running commercials betting mgm what is that gonna do that's gonna bring people's attention to those companies sports betting stocks and, and listen you, you think someone who bets on football is not going to bet on a, on, a, on a penny stock on a, a one dollar stock because they're going to look DraftKings, pen or fubo whatever it is and say oh these are like 50 dollars stocks whatever why don't i just get into something that's a dollar now it doesn't really make sense but that's the way it works so i think what you're gonna have is massive massive free promotion um how many people watch football i think it's like 100 100 million people every um every game 50 million people watch a game so you got a you're gonna have a lot of people following and also fans put out a tweet a twitter thing saying that sports betting volume this data just came in the 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 the, the nfl betting volume right now is like double not even double, some crazy number. The numbers are going off the charts. They're going to be astronomical. Um, so you got to basically thank these guys at uh, uh, at the pen that the stool. What is the uh, bar stool? The bar stool. <clears throat> all those people. All they're doing is bringing massive attention to uh, to the sector, which is and you know how many stocks are in the sector that have this. Oh. Here's the key thing we have to realize because fans has all these eye gaming products. That's where the real money is made. It's not made on the, uh, on the bookmaking. It's made on people going to the site and depending on, you know, uh, the spinning games, all the other things where they're going to lose money, right? They, that's where they have big margins. So, um, yes, something is definitely happening with fans. I think it's looking amazing. Fans is looking great. So um, <clears throat> again, this is a very high conviction chart right here. I mean, with this volume, this type of move, you're going to see massive action in fans for the next uh, three months. Again, you're getting um, you're going to have probably like a, I don't know, let's say. A billion dollars in advertising, maybe five hundred million. I mean, these guys are spending massive money uh, promoting their sports books. So you're going to have five hundred million plus ad spending, which is going to drive people's awareness of the, the betting sector in the in the market. And fans, F U N F F, perfectly positioned in that space. Uh, Okay, so let's go to, okay, so now next on deck. Okay, actually, let me just revisit a couple stocks. Former clients, I'm just revisiting because I, I, I'm i stuck with a, with a position here and uh, you know I'm, I'm trying to pump these stocks so that they go up so I can sell. <laughs> I'm being full, totally honest there. Um, but I, I wanna sell when they go high, right? So uh, Skylight, uh, what is happening? Uh, you know, it's interesting. Sean, we had Sean on Friday. I mean, this guy, I think, listen, when, when Sean Black speaks, the market listens. Um, big volume. Look at this. Big volume. That's that's high conviction buying, right? And again, this thing has been like dead for months. They haven't done any promotion. They've they've gone off the radar, which is why I'm really irritated with, with them, but whatever. Um, now, so today is actually very bullish. Now the stock, look at that. It 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 got stopped right at that 50 period moving at 50 day moving average. Uh so it it, it you see these these moving average things are very uh it, it's it's legit, but I do think it's gonna go higher. Look at this. I mean, this chart right here, it kind of shows you what's going on. So basically, you kind of had this thing kind of being walked down, maybe 
maybe being short a little bit. And all of a sudden, some high conviction buying starts happening. Boom, 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 boom. It's like starting to look. You can see the action here in the one hour. So this thing is waking up. And I think it's going to move quickly back over five bucks, six bucks. Uh, let's see what happens. I think Sean is saying nine, ten dollars. I hope he's right. Uh, I'd love to sell at that price. Uh, okay, so let's do another former uh, Wall Street Reporter client here, and that is Trip. Uh, so, you know, we introduced this what last year, last December, I don't know, it was like 14 cents. 14 cents, it popped to seven, maybe, I think it might have been 15, no, no, it was definitely less. It was, it was 14 cents, and the stock went to 70. So that means it basically went up uh, four times. That's not bad, right? If you can make four times your money in, uh, not bad, right? Four times your money in a month. So it wasn't a 10 bagger. You know, it could have been, uh, but it wasn't. Uh, but look at okay, look at this chart. It's pretty interesting. You've, you've developed a really long base for the last six months. The last six months, this thing has developed a base. Um, you know, it's kind of made some attempts to, to rally. It, but again, look at this. It got stopped out at that moving average. You see the 50-day moving average? The last rally attempt uh, last week, it got stopped. And also uh, last month, it got stopped there. So that's, you know, these things are, are real. Uh, and uh, what's happening now is... I have a feeling this thing is like treading water. Just again, it's a little bit like somebody was asking about FCO. Uh, yeah, so FCO, uh, it, those charts look very similar right now. Like these stocks, they moved and they've had a big consolidation and they're kind of waiting for a catalyst right now. They're not going down. They're not going down. They're basically um, waiting for a catalyst that's going to move them. And that can happen like like that, like overnight. Interesting, I think, with Trip is that they got like what thirty million in the bank or something like that. So um, you know they got a you know they got a psychedelic business, right? But they got a bunch of cash. So I think it could be an, an attractive, um, an attractive. Oh, it's almost like a spac for somebody who wants to get into the psychedelics business. If, if somebody had a really solid psychedelics business, and hopefully with some revenues or something really exciting, they could merge into this uh, into trip. Could be interesting. Something is something I think is it could happen there, right? Um, okay, so look is again waiting for a catalyst. Again, a very similar chart. Look at it. You see, you notice they, they look a little bit similar, right? Um, this thing is waiting uh, for a, a catalyst to move. Like, and, and once it breaks above this moving average, above a buck fifteen, and it, again, it can happen any day. Once it breaks above that, it's going to continue the original uptrend, which was which took it from uh, I think thirty. We introduced this at thirty cents, went to four and change. I think on the next run, it can go above that. It could go to you know six dollars. Or more, right? So um, look, if this guy, if this guy gets to a hundred million dollar run rate, and it gets valued at a billion dollars, um, that would be what is it? That got a hundred? Uh, that would be way over ten dollars a share. You know, this is definitely worth watch. <clears throat> it's definitely worth watching. Um, see here yeah so basically that that's what's happening so ESC looking good uh, I'll pull up FCO very similar it's like it's it's interesting these stock these stocks are not going down they're kind of just hanging it in the water waiting for a signal to move um, waiting for that catalyst so I think that's what's gonna happen with all three of these FCO ESC trip and you know it's 
once you, I think here's the thing to watch. Once you see these things start moving and break above those moving averages, that's going to be like your signal to get in. It's going to look very similar to um, like the fans chart. Kind of like this, right? You got a long base, you got a long base. And once it breaks above the moving average, that's your buy signal. That's kind of like, okay, you know, it's game on. This thing is taking off. So uh, that's it. So basically for tomorrow, the stocks which are looking the best, um, fans is, I think, very, very strong position. Let me, let me do the 15 minute. Yeah, fans just wants to, I mean, look at this, wow. I mean, this thing just wants to explode. Yeah, fans. Fans, fans is, tomorrow should be an exciting day. We're gonna have a couple of exciting days. There's so a fans looking amazing. I am pretty sure, probably 70% chance that Visby is gonna have a very strong up day as well. Relic? We got to watch the test, test the 90 cent range, dollar range. It's going to, it kind of right now, it's, it's, it basically needs to take a, a bit of a breather before it can continue um, the, uh, the path to, you know, two, three dollars plus. Uh, and oh, one more, I got to give you logic. Uh, logic, it's pretty interesting. So, logic. Uh, they had some great news today. This fintech news in Indonesia. I mean, I don't know why the stock didn't move. It's crazy. It's 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 really weird. Um, if this company has some tremendous fundamentals, and they get they get a real business. They're doing 37 million, 38 million revenues. Up to uh, yeah, sorry, I almost forgot logic. Logic could be one of our, and I think logic is going to be probably. Out of the whole group that we have here, percentage-wise, I think Logic could be up the biggest, the quickest, because I think Logic could be 14, 15 bucks, like, quickly, like, in a few months, at 5x from here. Uh, I agree. I agree. I don't like when, I don't like when, I agree with people, I don't like when there's too much consent, too much consensus. I don't, then it becomes, like, Kool-Aid drinking you know, you see these message boards and people saying, oh, it's going to go to a thousand. It's going to go. Anytime I hear that, I'm like, oh, okay, this is the top. No. Right now, logic, you know, nobody's looking at this thing. Um, so here is what's going on. Um, amazing news. It was kind of ignored. But this chart, right? This is the short term. I'm looking at the 30 minute. It's starting to pick up. It's like, it's like uh, I think tomorrow could be a good day. You know what? You know what is? I think the problem is in the market these days. People are just, are FOMO jumpers. You know, they want to jump on that train once it's already leaving. They want to jump on the momentum. It, it like they don't want to do anything unless the the train is already moved. It's like everybody wants to jump on the train that's that's leaving the station. They want to chase after it. They want to jump on the rocket. You know, they don't want to like you know, they don't want to just buy a ticket and. Um, they don't want to like buy a ticket and get a seat, you know. No, they want to chase after the plane, grab onto what as it's taking off, like like the Afghanistan thing. I know it's a tragic, but that's what, you know, that, that's kind of what it is with with with, with a lot of investors. So, uh, but I think we're getting very close to the breakout point in logic. We're getting very very close. Uh, I mean, we're, we're, if you look at the one day chart, we are past it, so it's already moving. But people are not going to recognize it for a little bit of time here. Like what you see is happening. It's kind of getting ready to pop. And I think you're going to see people jumping on board. Just like you saw, you know, last year, you know, we, we, introduced, this, we introduced this at 350. It went to 14 bucks in a few months. So, again, look at this chart. Very similar to the fans chart on the on the daily, but this is you know big. So again, you get a massive base, and the upside is somewhere over here. Uh, I know I, if you see where the cursor is going, it shows forty bucks. Do I think 
logic is going to go to forty dollars i don't know can it go there it absolutely can because it does have enough fundamentals that you know it could you know with a couple of yeah it could it could make it happen you could definitely make it happen but um easily uh you know easily it's going to be 15 bucks quickly um okay the oh yeah, speaking of algorithm by the way if you're watching the video afterwards whatever, please leave your comments in the video in the video below afterwards not in the chat but in the comments of the video leave your comments like i don't even care what you say just say something uh i know i get a lot of spam this bitcoin spam that's also good so uh no disrespect to other, but if lisa keeps around are you hey if 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 RHT wipes, I, I hope it does. I hope RHT goes to 100. Uh, I'd be very happy. Um, but I think at least it's going to be three bucks plus. But, you know, here's the thing with, with RHT. Because of the space they're in, the, the telemedicine space, you know, that that's a, that big multiples for recurring revenue and... If they can show those numbers by December, they show that 25 million run rate. I think I think it's going to get, you know, it's not going to trade like at a normal. It's going to trade like, you know, the market's going to start extrapolating out, you know, two years out. I mean, we'll see this happen. We've seen this happen with so many other stocks. So people are, you know, look, the market is not rational, right? So you got to buy it when it's cheap and sell it when it's irrational. So. I mean, if um, you know, if, if if Rella goes to three bucks by January, I think that'll be you know that would be actually you know still a little bit cheap. Uh, if thing goes to ten bucks, you probably want to sell. <laughs> but uh, three bucks by by December, I think is good. Maybe even I think anything above five dollars would mean, actually that would mean. Um, Five bucks would mean uh, what a couple billion market cap. So it is possible though to get, to get there because you know we've seen the crazy multiples, fifty times revenues, etc. So uh, we got to see what happens. But yeah, so relic is actually fundamentals are looking great, charts looking good. Uh, we might again a little bit of consolidation, but I think it's going to um, you know. A week from now, I think it's going to be in a very solid position. So, ESC, keep an eye on ESC, keep an eye on Logic. Uh, and those two, I think, in the next week are going to, are going to start doing some exciting things. Visby, uh, looking good. Fans, amazing, amazing setup. It's almost, it's almost a sure thing. If anything could be a sure thing, it's fans. And... Um, That's it. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next live stream. And if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure you subscribe and join our Telegram channel. The links are in the video description below.